I had another challenge which came, which is must be the part of the story, is that when the supercomputing story was done, Rajiv Gandhi got assassinated. Yes. Very unfortunately, uh, and whole India's politics changed. Yes. The new government came in. The yes. Janata government came in, and Janata government wanted to do anything, uh, reverse anything what Rajiv Gandhi has done. Instead of doing something new thing, many people thought at that time that whatever Rajiv Gandhi has done, it must be stopped. And CDAC came on the block. Yes. That then they showed Sam Petroda came on the block. Sam Petroda came. Well, came on the block means now that his project should be stopped, and Rajiv Gandhi's project, his supercomputer, should be stopped. And one this task was given to Department of Electronics Secretary, I think something like that perhaps, and to close down CDAC. Yes. I, I had a great team. Tremendous team, and uh, the new secretary came at that time. Some we had great secretaries like Mr. Vitral and some secretary came, and I came to receive him as a chairman of my steering committee at the Pune Airport. And I came to know that something is happening, but I didn't know exactly what was happening. So he came with the financial advisor at the airport, and I tried to garland him. He said, "No, no, no. I, I, I have bad news for you." I said, "Why?" Uh, so he said, "What is the bad news?" "No, no. I come down to close to close down CDAC." Because your mission is war, though it is successful, this mission is war. Mission is for fixed time, and it must be closed. And uh, I didn't know. I didn't know how to respond to that whole thing. I took him to the hotel, and he was put in. The next morning, we had organized a welcome for him, and explaining all the things what we are doing, everything. I explained. Then I came to take him to CDAC laboratory. He said, "What is the point? You are coming to? I come down to close CDAC. I have not come to see CDAC." I didn't know how to respond. So many people were so enthusiastic, and now we are going to begin the new. We are proposing a new mission of teraflop. Yes. Sir. And I said, at least come to the laboratory. And so people are waiting right now, and you have to address them. And I was earnestly requesting him that I am not really great coxer and something like, but still I said, you please come, and then we decide what you want to do. Let's decide. So somehow reluctantly came and the said, and we all were. They, my team was not. I had not told my team. Something like this. Team was unaware of that, and they were all assembled. And he was supposed to address, and he said, "I'm not going to address and all that kind of thing. Hey, if you want to show me something quickly, show me something. This is what is done. I will just walk through for your sake. I, I, but I had no intention of listening to anything else. So, a financial advisor said, "Sir, I have taken the decision. We have signed the file, and you have to close down CDAC. And then, somehow, then I decided to take him down uh, around. Supercomputer, he did not see at all much. So, okay, okay, okay. It was just messy like that. Then when I went down, we had started a language technology mission. What I believed at that time was when supercomputing started. This was what you spoke about yesterday. Yesterday, I spoke about this. Yes. That how language technology is important. But that's another story. We'll cover some. Of course. The whole story we'll cover something. But we had good. We were successful in designing new chips, script processors, and whole language technology, and we could make show. That was another great success for us. CDAC was showing all Indian languages, 16 Indian languages in 10 scripts, working, living with, uh, with English, and we could as easily we use this one English on computers. We could use all these 16 languages. So on. 16. No, that uh, that type 16 scheduled languages. Yes. Approved. The government approved languages, scheduled lang languages. And uh, when we went, he was a Hindi lover. The secretary was Hindi lover. Yeah. And his his fond hope was. One day Hindi can be used on computers. His thinking. Yes, sir. He used to dream that Hindi should be able to be used on computers, and we showed it working like this. And he was so amazed by seeing how, <laughs> because it was his life uh, dream. Yes. That Hindi should be used was Hindi lover, and we showed the poetry of great uh, poets. Tulsi Das. Uh, yeah, uh, to him and all all that thing, and he said, "Oh my God, you have fulfilled my life wish." <laughs> 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 and how I, I really at that time was praying that only miracle could save Sirak, only miracle could save Sirak. But they said we have taken a decision in the department, in the ministry. Minister has signed it, and Sirak is closed. I said it's not laboratory cannot be closed like this. It's not the tap water. <laughs> yes. And uh, but he would not listen. But when he saw that, oh my God, you you are great guys. I said that's why I'm telling. That these are the people assembled from. I told him how we got each person, yes. how we developed them, how we learnt everything. Yes. And if you now close it, it is a great national loss. He said, "I don't know about supercomputer, but this language technology is something, uh, something I'm really amazed with." 
I will now think and convince the government that CDAC should not be closed. That was the, <laughs> that was again I saw the power of prayer. Yes. Uh, because no logic will work with him. No, of I was trying not. to argue, I was trying to say, I was trying to request and yes. he would not listen. He but you just, touched his heart yeah. and this is true of everyone and everything. If you can touch their hearts, then you transform everything. Yes. And then I turned more and more spiritual. It is at that, at that time I had met Amma, Mata yes. Amrita Mai. The hugging mm, mother. The hugging mother. At every time, something was helping me. Of course. I cannot take the credit. Only he it. can help. And he can only help when you put your attention on the needs of the world. Because he has the whole world in yes. mind. That's right. And when the need is for the world, and that's why I started everything. developing every day more and more spiritual. Indeed. For the grace, for energy, for dissolving your ego, for dissolving the credit you want to take. And more I dissolve my ego, and I think now like that, more grace flowed. So, Indeed. Yes. Indeed. There is a state of mind which is intimate to yoga, in which grace flows spontaneously. And this is when the mind comes to stillness, and without the little ego's involvement, it can sit in the stillness and in the silence and in the inner peace, and it can receive the instructions from the higher plane. The Chinese know this, the Islam knows this, the Christians know this, but the Hindus were those who taught it to the world. And now is the time to teach this great technology to the world again. At a time, I became deeply spiritual. Yes. During this time. And I, I would just sit long times surrendering myself to the wish of whatever they come, the, the higher power. Indeed. And, yes. And uh, suddenly the solutions will come. Indeed. There was one thing, one, one, I, 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 story of supercomputing will be incomplete without that. I must say that. The second mission, which is Param 10,000 teraflop machine, which came in, government stopped entire funding to CDAC. During that time? During that time, because a new government had come. I said the closing. Yes, you told the story. They, 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 are, they didn't close it, but they stopped my funding. I had 200 engineers, 300 engineers, sal their salaries. In the meantime, what happened was, because of the language technology, and we were able to offer this to industries, to yes. users, and we were able to sell them. Yes. We, had, we were also creating, uh, what do you call, desktop parallel machines. Yes. And that we were, we were commercialized in certain sense. And we are allowed to do that. We are allowed to do that special way, and uh, and we are earning our own, own money. With, and uh, the, the the course began, the IT course. So CDAC became self-sufficient. CDAC started earning money. Yes. CDAC started earning money, but that was not enough to support so many people. So we were. I didn't know how to give the salaries to the people so much. Some part of it we were learning, and at that time I had met Amma. So I was I was seeing that I, I met my guru. Amma embraced me and Amma took me to that. I said, now I had no, okay, government is not giving any funding, very little funding it was giving, giving something, but some very little funding were based on some projects. And I did not know, and I wanted to do that. I wanted to do the teraflop machine, as was promised, the second mission. I wanted to do that. And I said, what to do now? And, and many of the engineers uh, started leaving CDAC. At that time, I, IT industry has gone. CDAC was hotbed for recruitment. All my key engineers were recruited. All the people who built the machine because they did not see the future. There was no funding coming. And something like that kind of thing. And, and they know they were, the industry was offering them huge job, five times the salary. IBM, any yes, machine, yes. and anything like that. So I did not know how, what to do. And uh, development was coming to halt, except for language technology. Then I went to, I said, only Amma can give me this. this. I never asked to God anything for myself. I generally, I never asked. Generally, I never asked for something. And then I said, now I can ask. That I had promised something which I am not able to deliver. I went to Amma. There is a big story about it. I went to Amma and I met Amma and I wanted to ask something now. I said, Amma, this is the promise I made to the nation. Please, please just bless me to get it done. And she held me like this, looked at my eyes, moan, she told me, moan, Miss Malayala, moan, Miss Child, this will be done. And believe me, I had no doubt 
at that moment that this will be. Then I had total confidence. I went back, came back from this one. I didn't know how it would done. Uh, what happened was, it was a miracle really. No, there's no miracle like God standing somewhere and showering something. What happened was, myself, Vivek Samant and myself were discussing. Vivek Samant came out with the idea. I said that we, so many people are asking us to admission. We are not able to admit to our course. Everything, we 10,000 people apply, we admit only something 200, 400, like that kind of people, like that. And uh, he said, if, and we charge a fee of 40,000 rupees. He said that, why not we admit more students? Who told us that we have to restrict it to only 200 students? Let us admit 1,000 students. And we wanted 20 crores, 200 million rupees. He said that, I admit, I already application for this. If I admit, 20 crores are immediately before us. A simple idea did not occur to us until Amma had given me and I came back and we were Vivek and discussing. Um, Vivek said, I will admit all the students like this and we, we, we have to, we will have 20 crores in front of us. And that's how we did. We created 20 crores and we built the next mission. It's not, a, one way it is not a miracle, but another way it's a miracle. That was in front of us. It's a question of having the idea. Yes. And the idea occurring and gelling and being agreed on.